Here's a problem to calculate the bubble temperature using Raoult's law. And in the previous screencast, we set up this problem and then we showed the polymath solution to obtain basically solutions to five equations, some of which were nonlinear, and the easiest way was to use a nonlinear equation solver. And polymath is particularly easy for doing that. So, what I want to show you. In this screencast is the actual polymath program and how we set it up to run. So I'm going to switch over to the polymath program. So here's the polymath program. And the first thing I'm going to do is to select program and select nonlinear equation solver. And then I'm going to put in a comment and basically putting this number sign in front makes anything I type after it on that line a comment. So it's just a label of what we're doing. Now I want to enter the equation. So I'll show you how we do that. Here we select enter a new equation. So what I'm putting on the left side, this is the function is going to go to zero. So the equation on the right side is arranged so that the equation will go to zero. And I'm going to pick one of my variables, it doesn't matter which one, this is just a way of letting polymath know what the variables are. Now down here, I put a guess as to what the temperature approximately is, my best guess, so that helps with the iteration. And then here I type in the equation. So one of the equations is one minus y1 minus y2. So this is just the equation that the mole fractions of vapor phase, y1 plus y2, must add to 1. And so if I write it this way, that means this should equal 0. And the iteration then is going to adjust temperature and the other variables to make this equal to 0. So that inputs it. I want to put a second equation. And let's, let's pick one of the Ralph's law equations. So Let's say one of my other variables is y2 and x2 times the saturation pressure for component 2 minus the mole fraction in the gas phase multiplied by the pressure. Again, this is an equation that should equal 0. And then when we get the correct solution, I'm going to get, guess the mole fraction is equal to 0.5 useful to indent this to understand the relation. So I can go through and input the other equations the same way. So let me pause. So I've entered the five equations. And again, just to point out, it didn't matter. I could have here, instead of putting Y1, I could have put temperature. And here, instead of P2 set, I could have put Y1. As long as I've identified the five variables, then I adjust to make each of these equations zero. Now to solve this, I need some explicit equations. X1, which we know, the mole fraction in the liquid phase, and X2, we also know, and then finally the pressure is known. Now you notice this arrow lit up indicate I put in all the information to solve the equation. So if I hit solve, then it generates the solution. Here is my guess temperature of 60, the final temperature 79.669. Here are my guesses for the saturation pressures and the actual saturation pressures. And likewise for the mole fractions. It shows the equations. It shows the various settings. The F of X value, you can see we're trying to make it zero and it gets pretty close in most of these 10 minus 12, 10 to minus 15. So we have a good solution for the nonlinear equations. Polymath is very quick to solve this. And then this, of course, works when the equations get more complicated. It's not Raoult's law, but we have nine ideal liquids. So we have to add more equations to account for that non-ideality and calculate, for example, activity coefficients.